Hey everyone, Melissa Wick here. This is a full creative yoga flow practice where we will set the intention in the beginning of class for the practice. We'll move through the class, we'll breathe, we'll open, we'll strengthen, there'll be some heart openers. And we will, at the end, tune into a quality or an elevated emotion that we would love to embody in our lives. So we use the practice to change our energy to become more receptive and open and to ultimately come back home to ourselves to remember who we are. So get into something comfortable and let's get started. If you have your two blocks today, bring them to the top of the mat so they are ready for us when we get there. We'll begin today's practice on our backs. So you're going to have the knees bent to start. Take the feet as wide as the mat. Let your knees fall in to touch. Your arms could be by the side, palms up. Maybe you want your hands on your body, on your belly. So you decide how you want to intentionally begin your practice. Back of the neck long, relax the shoulders. Take a couple deep breaths here to arrive. So big breath in through the nose. Let it out through the mouth. One more like that, inhale in. And let it out. Good. Closing the lips and just allow your breath to be natural. Allowing your whole body to rest on the ground. And we can take this opportunity here just to check in with ourselves to connect. How does your body feel in this moment? And how is your energy level? How do you feel? And how are you being breathed? How's your breath? And how are you experiencing your mind? So we are just observing, we're not judging and not trying to change anything. Bringing all of us into the practice, all the parts of us. And arrive here exactly as you are. Connecting a little deeper to your breath. Inviting in a soft, open belly as you experience the breath rising and falling. Take several more breaths here, in and out through the nose if you can. And perhaps you'd like to set an intention for your practice. It doesn't need to be grand, just allow it to be sincere. And remember that this is your own practice, so take rests and break when you need. Personalize it as you wish. Listen to your body. We're going to gently bring the knees apart, heel toe your feet underneath the hip bones and have your heels close to your glutes, arms by the side, palms flipped down. You're going to start to curl the tailbone forward so your lower back will imprint, squeeze the glutes, press your feet into the earth, lift your hips up, that's your inhale. Exhale, you'll lengthen the spine down, 
And when you get back to the ground, just soften the glutes. And then inhale again, squeeze, lift, press into the earth. Exhale, lower. Now we're gonna invite in the arms with the hips. So you're gonna inhale, lift the arms and the hips all the way up, full breath in, backs of the palms touch the ground. Exhale, arms lower, hips lower, going slower than you normally would. Becoming aware of the body. Inhale, lift, let the belly inflate, let it rise all the way up to the chest into the heart. Exhale, lower. A couple more times, cultivating the breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. We're going to keep the legs, the hips lifted. Just lower the arms on the exhale. Continue to breathe. Find integrity in the legs. Notice if one leg is dominating more than the other. Maybe lift the hips a little higher, relax the shoulders, soften the gaze. And really tap into your breath here. If you start to feel a little uncomfortableness, notice if there is a tendency to want to come out. Just make your breath louder than your thoughts. Starting to invite in that inner fire. On your next exhale, lengthen the spine down nice and slow, upper back, mid back, low back. Soften the glutes, good. And then create a little containment in the core here. And we're going to extend the legs towards the sky. Notice if the lower back wants to lift, keep drawing the pubic bone towards you, towards your chin. And then take the arms back up overhead. Notice if the ribs want it to splay out here. Again, find the containment. You can always take the arms down by the side for this sequence and not use the arms. We're going to start to warm, warm up in the core. So from here, we're gonna to start to lower the right leg down. You can bring it as far down as you'd like as long as you don't let the low back lift off the ground and the right hand's gonna come down as well. So hovering the leg and the arm and then inhale, come back to where you started. Exhale, left leg hovers down, left arm down and then back to where you started. So just going from right to left, finding your own pace. The slower you go, the more you're gonna feel and the stronger you'll get because you're not using momentum. So paying attention the whole way through. Just feeling how your core starts to activate, your legs engage. Perhaps your chest is opening with the arms being lifted and lowering. Good, smoothing out the breath and smoothing out the movement. I'm gonna count down from 10. Continue at your own pace. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One, finishing up your last round. Bend your knees and draw your arms around your shins. Give yourself a gentle hug. You can gently sway from side to side if that feels good. Take the hands behind the backs of the knees and we'll gently start to rock and roll up and down the mat here a couple times. Maybe on your third time, you cross the ankles at the top, lift your pelvic floor, take your hands forward, and then scoot yourself back onto all fours. Fingers spread wide, wrists under the shoulders, knees hip width distance apart. We're gonna tuck the toes under for this sequence. On the inhale, we're gonna drop the belly, let your heart come through the windows of the shoulders, lift the gaze. 
As you exhale, we'll start to come into cat. We'll lift the knees and send the hips up and back. That's the sequence. Inhale, gently drop the knees. Continue the inhale, heart comes through. Exhale, start to round. Reach the sit bones up and back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Stay in your downward dog. You can start to bend your right knee, ground down through the left heel. And then switch, left knee bends, right heel extends down. Back to center, just bend your knees a lot here, more than you think you should. Reach and root down from the knuckles, the palms. Your chest is reaching towards the tops of the thighs. Your outer ankles and outer thighs are engaged. Release any excess tension in the neck. Wrap the upper arms around and in and broaden the upper back. Creating a clear pathway for the breath to travel along the spine. Your sit bones are reaching up and back. Now keep this length and just extend the legs any amount. Mm -hmm. Lift the heels. Inhale, come forward to high plank. Now you can do this sequence here on the knees if you feel that your arms are burning. If you're not, you're going to come into high plank. So your elbows stay extended this whole time. So we're going to retract the shoulders. So you're going to move from the scapula. It might just be super subtle. And then you're going to exhale and protract. So you're going to puff up the upper back, push the floor away. Your hips aren't moving. This is all just from the shoulders. So retract, inhale. You can always take the knees down. Exhale, protract. Inhale, retract. Exhale, protract. Just isolating here. One more inhale, retract. Exhale, protract. Keep that protraction and then back to downward dog. Push through the palms. Big breath in. Exhale out. Inhale, lift the heels, come forward back to high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Point your toes. Three rolling cobras. You can either have your hands in or if you like the hands out, you can do that as well. Pubic bone down, tops of the feet are pushing down. On the inhale, start to roll through the spine, upper back, mid back, low back. Sorry, upper back, and then to the head. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, upper back, chest, chin, forehead. Exhale, lower down. One more. Inhale, upper back leads, chest, chin, forehead. Exhale, lower down. Right, if your hands are out to the sides, bring them back in. Elbows hug in. Inhale, lift your baby cobra or a full cobra. Heels of your hands toward you, hard forward and up, softening the shoulders, elbows in. Back body is working. On your exhale, just lower down. Tuck your toes underneath. Inhale, push through table or high plank. Exhale back, downward dog. Let's bend the knees, look between the hands, and walk or step to the top of your mat. Fold when you get there. Inhale, halfway lift. We'll roll the shoulders back, flat back. Exhale, we'll fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, Tadasana, palms slip forward. Take a cycle of breath here. Good, opening the eyes. Interlace the hands behind us. Start to extend the knuckles, gentle squeeze of the blades. Bend the knees, inhale, open the chest. As you exhale, we'll start to fold. You can keep the knees bent here. Draw the navel in. Relax your head, relax your shoulders, and let your arms dip forward any amount. Breathe into your chest, 
your shoulders, your heart space. Gently release your hands onto your quads or your shins, halfway lift, open the chest. Exhale, plant your palms, step back. If you're ready for chaturanga, you can create a shelf with your elbows to up dog, or you can come to your belly to cobra. Gentle engagement of the glutes as your chest opens, roll the shoulders back. Exhale back, downward dog. You're gonna inhale, the right leg's gonna rise. Hips stay closed. Exhale, knee towards your chest, round. Inhale, right leg will rise. Exhale, we'll step the right foot through between the hands. We'll keep the back leg lengthened. If you have blocks, great opportunity to use them as we're still warming up. Inhale, we'll lift the chest off the thigh. Your heart will come through, so you're lengthening the spine. Exhale, modified pyramid. Extend your right leg, fold over. So you're on the ball of the left foot, all 10 toes forward. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, forward. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale, forward. Exhale, fold, hold here for a few breaths. Right hip is drawing back. Breathe into your right hamstring. Rebend your right knee. Find your foundation, so magnetize the inner thighs. Right heel back, left toes forward. When you're ready, high lunge. Reach the arms up, breathe in. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Left heel draws in, left toes fan out. Tail lengthening down. Something a little different here. We're gonna interlace the hands behind us. Extend the elbows. Open the chest as you breathe in. As you exhale, you're gonna keep your chest open and draw your right shoulder down towards that right knee. Right knee stays bent. Knuckles are reaching towards the left foot. So outer edge of the left foot firmly rooted. Your right knee is drawing towards the pinky sides of the toes. My legs are super strong in supporting me. As I find this extension, find your breath. Beautiful release, warrior two. On your inhale, reverse your warrior. Come back to warrior two. We're gonna cartwheel the hands down to frame your right foot and then step back, take a flow here, high plank. And when you're ready, you can shift slightly forward, hug the elbows in, chaturanga, push to the palms, create a shelf. Point your toes, don't let your hips drop and just extend here, opening the chest. Maybe your gaze lifts. When you exhale back, your belly button draws to the back of the spine, takes you back to down dog. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee towards your chest, round. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, gently step the left foot through between the hands. Maybe you find your blocks again. Inhale, heart reaches forward. Like left hip is drawing back. Exhale, fold, extend the left leg. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, forward. Exhale, fold. One more, inhale forward. Exhale, fold. Stay here, breathe into your left hamstring. All 10 toes forward, left hips drawing back. And 
center, bend your left knee, and then find your foundation first here. Magnetize the inner thighs when you're ready. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Tail down, engage the glutes, interlace the hands, open up your chest, breathe in. Exhale, left shoulder down, knuckles toward the right heel, chest stays open. Left knee opens to the pinky side of the toe, outer edge of the right foot is rooted. Reaching through the crown of the head. Release warrior two. When your next inhale comes, reverse your warrior. Good, and we'll cartwheel the hands down. Frame your left foot, all 10 toes forward. Step back, take a flow. You can always skip the flow and come to downward dog. We'll meet back in down dog. Bring your feet as wide as the mat. Walk your hands a few inches back here. You're still in a downward dog shape, sit bones up and back. Take your left hand and bring it to the outside of the right calf or ankle here. So your left shoulder is dipping down. You're peeking your gaze underneath that right underarm. Your heart is spiraling towards the sky. Come back to center, other side. So right hand to the left calf or the ankle. Right shoulder dips down as you peek underneath that left arm, chest towards the sky. Back to center. We'll heel toe the feet back to the downward dog stance and then walk your hands all the way back to the feet. Fold here. Inhale, halfway lift. Stay here, but exhale the breath. Notice if you're leaning way back on the heels, maybe trust to lean a little bit forward here, so just so the weight's even in the feet. You can bend your knees slightly here. Now, try to eliminate or reduce the C curve in the spine, so you wanna draw the belly in. So my glutes are engaged here. Back body is strong. We're gonna invite in a bit of a back strengthener here. So you're gonna keep all of this and extend the arms out to the side. Don't let them go higher than your torso. Good, so my shoulder blades are squeezing toward one another. Back of the neck is long, so we're not cranking the neck and I'm drawing the navel in. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, slowly lower the arms toward one another. Only thing moving are the arms. Inhale, extend. Gentle squeeze, exhale, lower. Use your imagination as if you're holding light weights here. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. A few more times, inhale, extend. My legs are super engaged. Exhale, lower. Inhale, extend. Exhale, lower. One more, inhale, extend. Exhale, lower, good, and then lower down, full. Okay, we're gonna walk the hands back to downward dog. Let's bend the knees, look between the hands, and then we'll take little steps all the way up, hands toward the feet. When you need to bend the knees, bend the knees. When you gotta lift your heels of your hands, lift them up, full. Inhale, halfway lift again, cleanse. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Biceps by the ears, back body engages all the way up as you rise. Exhale, hands come down. So now we've fired up the back a bit, we're gonna invite in the dynamic chair sequence. So inhale, chair pose, sit back, Utkatasana. So we're gonna have this open chest here, thumbs back, pinkies forward again, draw the navel in again. Glutes are engaged, firm the outer ankles. Inhale here to prepare. 
As you exhale, your knees stay bent, your chest comes towards the thighs, your fingertips come down towards the ground. Inhale, chair. I know this sequence is a little spicy. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, chair. Open the chest. Exhale, down. Inhale, chair. Use your breath. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, chair. Exhale, lower. Inhale, chair. This time stay, exhale in your chair. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, Tadasana, palms face forward. Take a cycle of breath. Good, inhale, reach the arms up. Maybe look to your palms. Exhale, lead with the heart, fold down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your flow, Chaturanga. Elbows in. Inhale as your back bend, up dog or cobra. Exhale back, downward dog. Good. Smooth out your breath. Let's continue. Inhale, your right leg's gonna rise. Exhale, we'll step the right foot through between the hands. Now again, find your foundation when you feel steady. You're gonna reach the arms up, high lunge. Now this sequence, you may become a little wobbly here. Just to know the option is you could always take your left knee down onto the ground for the entire sequence. So you're gonna really root down through your right heel Right heel draws back, left toes forward, and you'll magnetize the inner thighs. That'll help you stay stable. So reaching the arms up, breathe in. Exhale, bend the elbows, energize the heart space, open the chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, your left knee comes down, your hands swim through, your torso comes through. Reach to the fingertips, shoulders engage, triceps engage. All right, let's move one breath per movement. Inhale, extend back, high lunge. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee down, arms swim through. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, extend. Exhale, swim through. Inhale, reach up. Stay here, high lunge. Stay for your exhale. Good, and then we'll open up, warrior two. Enjoy the grounding shape. Take your hands again, same thing we did before. Interlace the hands, open the chest, breathe in. As you exhale, right shoulder comes down, knuckles toward the left foot, strong legs. Come back to warrior two, reverse your warrior. Warrior two extended side angle. So right forearm to right thigh or left hand towards the sky. If you have a bind, you're welcome to take a bind or your right hand can come to the ground or to the block. So you choose your path here. My right glute is rolling in towards the midline. Good, if you're in a bind, you can release your bind and we'll all come back to warrior two. Take your left hand to your left hip, he'll toe your back foot in a little bit here, preparing for half moon. So right hand to the ground or to the block. Try to use your strength here as you start to bring the weight to the right foot, left leg rises. Stabilize your pelvis. My glutes are working here to help smooth out any of the wiggles and wobbles. And don't worry, every day the balance is different. Maybe the left hand extends. So take your variation of half moon here. Chest open. Okay, we're gonna bend the right knee and then take a silent step back, warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down, all 10 toes forward, left hand down, right arm opens up, twist. Lift the left hip, lower the right. 
create your foundation to open up the spine. Now you can start to come into side plank. So outer edge of the left foot, right toes fan out. You can stay halfway down with your right leg or you can stack right leg over the left. Left side body lifts. Try not to roll that right hip all the way back here. Keep it stacked over the left. Good, and we'll come through center plank with control, and then other side, right, other outer edge of the right foot down, left arm up. Now you can stay here if you want wild thing. Plant your left foot behind, nice and firm, extend your right leg, and then lift your hips any amount. Open the chest. Be safe in your body here. Pure and wild thing. Come back to side plank. We'll lift that left leg. You can always assist it. And we're all going to take it for a ride to the front of the mat, back into the lunge. And that variation, that transition takes time. So inhale, we're going to lift the heart just to cleanse here. And then exhale, fold it back. And we bend your left knee. Take your fingertips forward. Your chest comes off the thigh, bring your weight into your left foot, standing split just for a breath. Your right leg rises, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lower the right leg beside the left fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And exhale, release your hands down, palms face forward. We're gonna bring the legs completely together here. Another chair sequence but adding a twist. So find that connection to the breath, connecting to your, your fuel, your will, your power, your strength. This is a very detox cleansing sequence here. So use the breath. Inhale, chair pose. Draw the navel in. Gentle squeeze and firming of the glutes. Inhale in your chair here. Exhale, hands into prayer. We're gonna to twist to the right. Your left tricep hooks on the outside of the right. We're not gonna stay here. Inhale back to center, arms extend. Exhale, twist to the left, right tricep to left thigh. Inhale back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. Good. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, fold over the legs. Bring your feet back to hip width distance apart. Hook your peace fingers and thumb around your big toes. Inhale, take a halfway lift. You can always bend the knees. Exhale, fold. Draw the navel in. Releasing your grip, halfway lift as you breathe in. And exhale, take your flow, cleanse it up. You can always just shift back to downward dog. Good. A few cycles of breath here. If you need a break, take a break. If you have lots of energy, you're welcome to take another flow, another vinyasa. Okay, come to down dog if you're not there already. And we'll continue here. Left leg will rise as we breathe in. Exhale, step your left foot through between the hands. Again, find your foundation. When you're ready, high lunge. So we'll come back into that somewhat destabilizing sequence. So you're gonna ground down through your left heel, strong legs, and focus your gaze. That'll really help with your balance. Inhale, extend the arms. Exhale, bend the elbows, open the chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, hands swim through, right knee comes down. Chest forward, engage the shoulders and the triceps. Shoot the energy through the fingers. Inhale, back, high lunge. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, swim through, right knee kisses the ground. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, open. 
Inhale, extend. Exhale, swim through. Inhale, extend, high lunge, stay. And then we're gonna open up warrior two, slice open. Good, glutes are engaged here. Outer edge of the right foot rooted, interlace the hands, open the chest, breathe in. Exhale, left shoulder down, knuckles toward the back leg, chest is open. Knee, left knee is drawing to the left pinky. Come back to warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Warrior two, extended side angle, so left forearm to left thigh, right hand to the sky, or left hand to the block or the ground, or you go for your bind if it's in your practice. Good, if you're in a bind, release the bind. And come back to warrior two, right hand to the right hip, heel toe your back foot in just a little bit, preparing for half moon Ardha Chandrasana. So left fingertips to the ground or to the block, weight into the left foot. When you find your balance, the right leg extends, left glute is drawing into the, to the center. Engage the glutes, maybe your right arm floats up. So chest and hips are open. Good. Bend your left knee, big silent step back, warrior two. We're gonna cartwheel the hands down, all 10 toes forward, right hand stays down, left arm reaches up, twists, enjoy this counter stretch. Coming into side plank, outer edge of the right foot comes down, left toes fan out, heel toe, halfway down, you can stay right here, or you can stack the feet, lifting the right side body. Come through center, and then to the other side. Right arm lifts. Now you can stay in side plank if you want wild thing. Right foot plants down, extend the left leg, opening up the chest, lift the hips. If you're in wild thing, come back to your side plank. We'll lift that right leg, Take it for a ride. You can use your hand to assist you. Step it forward. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold, modified pyramid. Good, bend your right knee. Take your fingertips forward. Bring your weight into your right foot. Lift the chest, inhale. Extend the left leg, halfway lift. Both legs are straight. Exhale, lower down, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, sweep the arms all the way up. And exhale, Tadasana, palms face forward. <sighs> Tuning inward here. The palms open, we're open to receive. Okay, we'll come into a standing sequence here. So you can bring your left hand to your left hip. Find a tone in your belly. Bring your weight into your left foot, bend your right knee. Now you can take your right hand and just grab it around that right shin. And this is great to stay here through the sequence. Or you can take your peace fingers and thumb, arm on the inside, grab a hold of your right big toe. If you have a strap, you can always use a strap as well or a scarf. Good, and so start to lengthen that left leg. And then maybe your right leg extends. You can keep the knee bent and stay here. Maybe the left arm opens up for a counterbalance. Maybe you find the full extension. Good. And then you're going to take your knee or your leg out to the wards the right, but try not to take the hips with you. You can keep your right leg on somewhat of an angle, so you're rolling your right hip down and in. Find that point to look at that's not moving. Good, bring it back to center and then gently release. 
You can give yourself a little shake. <laughs> and then we'll go to the other side. So you can take your right hand to your right hip. So finding your footing, your balance, find your breath. And then bend your left knee, your hand wraps around your left shin and you stay here for the sequence. Or peace fingers and thumb to your big left toe. Extend the right leg, find your support. And then maybe extend that left leg any amount. Doesn't matter how straight it goes. Maybe the right arm extends. And then take your knee for a ride or your leg out to the left again. Hips stay forward. Draw that left glute down and in. Root down through your right foot, your standing leg. Reach tall through the crown of the head. Back to center and release. Awesome, shake it out. This is gonna be the last flow here. Inhale, reach the arms up, look to your palms. As you exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, step back, flow it out. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower down. Good. Now we're gonna come onto the knees here. So if you know you have sensitive knees, I invite you to roll the mat up here so you can pad or use a blanket. So you're gonna stand on the knees, knees are hip width distance apart. Now we're gonna do this sequence here on the knees. Just let your arms fall down by the side. Again, right away, my glutes are gently engaged and my tailbone's lengthening down. This just keeps our lower back safe throughout our practice. Now my quads are gonna start to engage and we're gonna hinge back to strengthen the front body. Now notice here if your hips are gonna wanna dip back, you don't wanna do that. Keep the hips in line with the femur bone. So we're gonna start to lean back Lean, lean back. So my quads are working, my core is working. You don't have to go super far. And then bring yourself back up. One more time so you get the feel. So tailbone lengthening down and then back up. And we're gonna add on. So your hands come forward, thumbs out to the sides, palms up. We're gonna start to lean back. As you do that, your right arm dips back. And then as you do that, you twist a bit, opening the chest back to center. And then exhale, left arm dips down, hinge back. Back to center, inhale. Exhale, right arm back. Inhale, center. Exhale, left hand back. Back to center. Good, and then lower the arms down. Take your arms into cactus, so you're bending the elbows. Again, tail down. Just strengthening and opening the side body a little bit. We're just gonna start to arch over to the right. You're gonna feel the right side body working and the left side. And then back to center, inhale. Exhale over to the left. Back to center, moving slower than you want to. And then over to the right. Imagine here, if you want a little more, that you're holding light weights. The imagination is super powerful. And then over to the left. So you're keeping that mind-body connection to center, one more round over to the right, back to center, over to the left, back to center, release the arms down. Good, coming into our back bend here, if you have a block, great tool to bring in between the inner thighs, you're gonna find this gentle squeeze here, that'll keep you activated, tail down, squeeze the glutes, hands above the glutes, fingers facing down. So coming into our camel sequence, we'll do two rounds. The first round, keep it a little lighter. You can always tuck the toes under if you don't feel stable. So grounding down with the hands and then start to lift up and out. So the hips are coming forward. As you ground down with the hands and reaching up and back, your chin can stay tucked in. If it's safe for your neck, you can start to find the extension. And then 
Use that front body to pull you back up and then bring your sit bones onto your heels. Have your palms flip up, backs of the hands onto the thighs. Close the eyes, take it in. Good, for the next round, you can do the same thing in camel if, or you can go deeper. So we'll come back to stand. I'll tuck the toes under for myself. You don't have to if you don't want to. Maybe you take the hands back onto the lower back above the glutes, grounding down, tailbone down, and we'll start to lift up and back, and maybe this is enough. If you feel you have more space, then at the same time, release the hands to find your heels. Then my hips will come forward, my chest opens, maybe the head lifts. Good, and as if someone is gonna pull you up, we're gonna bring ourselves back up and sit back onto your heels. Flip your palms up, close the eyes. Tune into the breath. Okay. Now we'll take the block out if you have one back to the front and then undo the mat if your mat's rolled. And we're gonna meet back in a very brief down dog, preparing for our hip opener. So from down dog, your right leg will rise as you breathe in. Exhale your right knee to your right wrist, right ankle towards your left. If you know pigeon's not your thing, you can always come onto your back and take figure four. So you're gonna slide your left leg back Take a look, is your left hip in line with your left leg in line with your hip bone? Now actually tuck the left toes under to begin. Try to level out your hips as much as possible. You can always slide something under your right glute. So fingertips just on the side here. This might not work for everyone. If you have sensitive low back, maybe you won't do this. But you can try here. Toes tucked under, maybe this is good. If you want a little more, engage your back knee and breathe into your psoas, your hip flexors, opening up the chest. Good, and then release that down when you feel you've had enough. We'll take our pigeon to sleep, pointing the toe. You can either stack the fists here, rest your forehead, or use a block, or you can fold over a bolster. Have about 10 breaths here. Just allow yourself to breathe through the density Good. And we'll start to bring our hands onto the earth, lift your chest up, bring your right bum down, and swing your left leg forward and around. So you're gonna come and bring your left leg on a bit of an angle. So your right foot is in to the left inner thigh. Left foot is flexed. So we'll take the right hand behind us for support, and your left hand will go to your right thigh or your right knee and you're twisting over to the right. Now this may be enough, you can stay here. If you'd like more, your right arm can reach up 
If you like a little more, you can start to arc towards the left leg. Now, rather than collapsing in, you can extend the left arm forward to the front right corner and then start to open and spiral the chest towards the sky. You breathe into your right waist, to your right side body. Just tune in to the sensations. Noticing if it's more accessible to breathe in or breathe out. Just notice. Bring yourself back to center. You're going to close your right knee in so your right foot is firmly down so you, all your toes are facing in the same direction. You're going to draw your right heel close to you. Your left hand comes behind you for support. Your right arm will reach up. As you breathe out, your right hand comes to your left calf or your ankle or your foot. It's okay if your right bum cheek lifts off of the mat. Now this could be it here. If you want to try a bind, wrap your right arm around that right leg and take your left hand to hold the right fingers. Okay, so you're drawing that right shin in as you extend the heart forward. Good, if you're in the bind, release the bind. Now we're going to come out back into downward dog. So you can just let your right thigh relax and then swing your left leg back around, plant your hands down, and come back to your downward dog. Other side. Left leg rises, breathe in. Exhale, left knee to your left wrist, left ankle towards the right. And scooch that right leg back. Take a look, is it in line with your hip bone? Maybe start with the toes tucked. Try to square off the hips as much as you can. Hands on either side here, maybe you lift the chest, maybe you extend the back leg, breathe into your psoas, hip flexors. And then when you feel ready, release your knee, point the toes, take your pigeon to sleep for about 10 breaths here. Rather than just checking out here, see if you can really explore the depths allowing yourself to unfurl by using your breath. Notice where you tend to hold, where your resistances are. We'll bring the weight back into our hands, removing your props, bring your left bum cheek onto the ground. Swing your right leg around on an angle. Right foot flex, left foot into the inside of the inner right thigh. So your left hand comes behind you for support, your right hand to your left thigh or your left knee. Maybe this is good, twisting to the left, or left arm reaches up, or you start to arc over to the right. So right arm is extending forward, chest is spiraling towards the sky, softening the shoulders, breathe into the left side body, left lung, the ribs, the waist.
Beautiful. Back to center. Draw your left knee in. Plant the left foot firmly on the ground. All toes facing the same way. Draw your left heel in. Right hand behind you. Support. Inhale, left arm rises. Exhale. Left hand to your right calf, your ankle, your foot. Or you try to find the bind. So you're going to wrap your left hand around. Right hand clasped with the left. You're drawing that heel in as you find the fold. It's all right if your left bum cheek lifts up. Good. Release your bind and we'll Scoot yourselves up a bit on the mat. We'll take a block if we have one. And we'll bring our palms on either side of the block. We're going to slowly start to roll down. So curl your tailbone in. Let your lower back touch the mat first, incrementally. Nice and slow. All the way down. Good. We'll come into a restorative waterfall for our inversion. So you can bend the knees. If you don't have a block, you can extend the legs up. You can always use a bolster or a big couch cushion to prop your lower, your sacrum on. Or if you have a block, lift your hips up and then bring the block on the bony part above the bum, so the sacrum. You can always try on the second setting, but just make sure the block is super stable. And then we'll lift the hips up here. I mean the legs up. Good, so we'll be here for about 10 breaths or so. Allow your tailbone, your sacrum, to trust the support that's beneath it. Refreshing the legs here. Good, we'll bend the knees, plant the feet down. Now you can stay here for a restorative bridge if you have the prop under you. Or you can remove the prop and come into your classic bridge. Your hands could be down on the ground or you can interlace the hands, walk the shoulders in. Tailbone lengthening towards the knees. Weight even on both sides of the legs. Good. If your hands are interlaced, release the hands and the shoulders. And we'll slowly lower down. If you have a prop under you, slide it out. Okay, take your feet wide and just windshield wiper your legs from side to side. Take your knees in toward you. We'll find happy baby before we close the practice. Arms on the inside, flex your feet. Either grab your shins, your ankles, the outer edges, or keeping with the theme of the peace fingers and thumb around the big toe. So your ankles are in line with the knees as if you're squatting against the ceiling. Let your shoulders soften, back of the neck be long. You can be still or you can sway. Beautiful release. Draw your knees in toward you. Wrap your arms around your shins. Take your nose, your forehead towards your knees. Come into a tiny seed. Inhale in. Exhale, Shavasana. Extend the legs long. Take as much space as you feel like you want to. Maybe just roll your hips from side to side. Just smooth it out. Palms facing up. Maybe a gentle shimmy of the shoulders helps keep the chest open. 
And then once you find your place of stillness, just land here, closing the eyes, releasing any effort of your breath. And the whole body is resting on the ground. There's nothing left for you to do. And this time here in Shavasana is here for you to nourish yourself at a very deep level. So allow yourself to melt and allow the energy, your prana, the life force, the sensation that moves through your body, the tingling, allow it to organize itself into balance, harmony, and coherence. As you lay here in this ultimate state of receivership, bathing in your light,
noticing what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multi-dimensional being. Know that you always, always have access to this. Slowly you can start to deepen your breath. Start to invite movement back into your body. Maybe you move your wrists, your ankles. Maybe you roll your head from side to side. Bring your arms up overhead. Point your toes as you deepen the breath. And then draw your knees in toward you. Give yourself a good hug, acknowledging your efforts and for finishing the practice all the way through. roll to one side. Just pause there for a moment, noticing how this fetal shape feels to you. Coming back to gratitude for our practice, for our beautiful bodies, for all of our resources in life, and for our sacred lives. Let's bring ourselves up to a seat to finish off the practice. Draw one heel in, one leg just in front, or however is comfortable for you. Let your palms rest on the thighs. Find a tall spine. Enjoy these next few moments here with yourself. Connecting to your inner source of wisdom. Noticing how you feel after an hour of practice. Let's bring our palms to touch right in front of our heart space, light bow of the chin. Come back to any intention that you may have set in the beginning of class. And perhaps here you'd like to invite in a quality or an elevated emotion that you'd like to embody throughout your day, the afternoon, the evening. And know that this quality or elevated emotion already exists within you. So allow yourself to be open to it, radiating outwards what you wish to receive. And on your next breath in and out, just let that land in your body and let it expand. Thank you so much for your trust and your support. From my heart to yours, namaste.